I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today we have Leroy van Dijk. Leroy, welcome to Country Music News International. Well, thank you so much. Glad to be here. I'm glad you could be here. <laughs> Thanks. Leroy, it's the first time you're here um, at Country Music News International. Yes. So, for our listeners and readers, you are brand new might be. Can you please introduce yourself a little bit? Say that again. Can you please introduce yourself? Oh, Leroy Van Dyke. Uh, I've been in the country music business for 58 and a half years, and I've never slowed down. I'm probably the only one of my age who never slowed down, disbanded, quit, or died. Leroy, by all the experience you had now in the country music business, what do you think is the best experience you ever had? Well, the, the whole 58 and a half years has been a good experience from the standpoint of fans, how they react to our music, and the, um, the pleasure it's given us just being able to walk out in front of an audience and sing songs, things that we like to do, and getting paid for it. But uh, probably one of the most uh, unexpected things to happen to me was on my record of Walk On By, which was an international hit, came out in 1961, and it was in the charts for 42 weeks, uh, 19 at number one, and that was a total surprise to me, but that was a high point. Leroy, um, when we see what's going on now in country music, what do you think is the biggest difference Uh, to the early days? Uh, I think there are two or three things. One is the image of country music. Uh, when I started, it was important to keep your hair combed, uh, to dress uh, so that it left a good image of country music. Today, they don't seem to worry too much about that. Uh, the other thing that's changed is the music itself. When I started, um, the, the main artists who uh, got established in the business, most had distinctive sounds in their voices so when they sang the first two three four five seven words of a song without an introduction you knew who it was because of the distinctive sound of the voice uh, also a difference was you could understand every word of every song because country music does tell stories um, the simplicity of it was better and the voices were mixed so that you could understand everything Uh, those are some of the main differences. I know there is no ideas <coughs> you have about retirement, so what keeps you running? <laughs> I, I have no intent whatsoever of retiring. Um, a columnist wanted to write a story about our operation. Uh, my wife runs our business. She's the general manager and the booking agent and the personal manager does it all. And they asked her the question, when is Leroy planning to retire? Her answer was, when he falls over on stage. <laughs> and uh, uh, by the way, I want all of the people in Europe to know that I am alive. Reports of my death have been highly exaggerated. Uh, but there have been reports about three or four different times that I was dead. I'm not dead at all. We're working all the time. I know you are having, at the moment, a great project running. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yes, this is it. A, a um, an idea that came about spontaneously um, about 24, 25 years ago. We play a lot of rural uh, uh, fairs and expositions, uh, as well as the concert halls. And uh, sometimes we would come back to the same venue two or three times in a row uh, in, in successive years. And uh, they would say, we can't keep bringing you back year after year after year. What else would you have as a suggestion? And off the top of her head, my wife, Gladys, said, well, how about a country gold tour? And they said, what is a country gold tour? By definition, country gold tour is a package show of classic country music made up of people who have made uh, million, have million seller records, million sellers, um, or massive television exposure, or in a few cases, just so good that you can't ignore them. Uh, 
and we put those together on one show. And the beauty of it is that you can keep it affordable for a small venue. Uh, just myself and my band, as well as maybe one other person, and we have put as many as 12 on a show. And we take, cater it to the size of uh, the venue and uh, their budget so that anybody can afford it. I open the show. Uh, of course, it's our show. I can go wherever I want to. And um, I open the show, and, uh, and then I MC the rest of the show. It runs on time. It's fast-moving. No mistakes. I have a seven-piece band, and they don't make mistakes. It's a, it's a beautiful show. And we've had these shows in uh, 24 different states in the U.S., and four foreign countries, and it's very successful. Any uh, plans to go uh, to Europe with the show? Um, nothing in the mill right now. I haven't been to Europe for a good number of years, uh, <laughs> partially by design, I guess. Uh, sometimes there's some unrest in some of the other countries, and I remember I was at Heathrow one time <laughs> waiting to come home, and I thought, you know, that's nice to have good security here. Uh, British commandos running around with assault rifles, and then I found out later they had a terrorist threat, and, and they were taking care of that, and took care of it very well, by the way. But, no, I don't have plans. I think part of the reason is uh, with a seven-piece band, uh, the airfares are pretty expensive, and I think that's probably a limiting factor. Well, but... Anyway, if there might be two or three bookers who want to show, what they have to do? All they have to do is go to LeroyVanDyke.com and they'll find addresses and phone numbers. And if they want to discuss it, we'll be glad to talk to them. I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today we had Leroy Van Dyke. Leroy, your message now for Europe? Say what? Your message now for Europe? Uh, my message is that I'm still alive <laughs> and, and that we do appreciate the long-term loyalty of all of the country music fans in Europe. It's been a great ride, not only for in this country, but over there, and we'd like to, we would like to come back.